Hello, my YouTubers. This is Dan Drupski for March 7th, 2021. And I see only, I only have like these 103 new arrival VHS tapes. Some of the tapes I got from eBay, some of them I got it from the thrift store. Some of the tapes I got from my, one of my family members who died recently and the, and they left me some of my VHS tapes. Yep. Springs around the corner, and uh, let's begin with some uh, selected children's tapes that I have, mostly from the Disney tapes. Let's start with one of the best Disney animated movies of all times, the 1940 classic Pinocchio. Pinocchio was a 1985 VHS release. This is the second Disney title to be released in, in the Walt Disney's The Classics with the Diamond logo. And they say, a masterpiece of fantasy... By Newsweek, the best thing Mr. Disney has ever done for, for full, the best cartoon ever made by the New York Times. Pinocchio was marked the second full-length animated movie after when Snow White was released in 1937. So here's what the tape looks like, and then here comes the print date. Printed it on October the 15th, 1985. Pinocchio was reissued on VHS in 1986. This copy of it has no black cauldron trailer. I like it without the trailer. Yep. Pinocchio was reissued again in 1993 and the 1999 release. Yep. Um. Now, another Disney animated movie we have. The 1951's Alice in Wonderland. It was made after Cinderella was to completed it. This is the 1980. Six reissue of Alice in Wonderland. I think in early early eighty six. This was this is the only Walt animated movie to be released in uh, in a uh, in a slip cardboard. The first release of Alice in Wonderland came out in nineteen eighty one. One of the early Neon Mickey tapes, and they say will you you will be charmed and delightful, a delight of amusing by this latest examination of the super highlights which Disney has. Ra rise the arts of movie movie animation by the New York World Telegram. Yep, this was in like the, the slip cardboard case, and this was this is like during like the Wonderland promotion release in 1986. Okay, this copy of Alice in Wonderland was printed it on June 17, 1986. This was at the time was starting to put some of it into macro vision. The next one we have here, one of the Neon Mickey tapes. Let's start with Davy Crockett, the King of the Raw Frontier, with stars of Fess Parker and Buddy Epson. And that's how the first original Davy Crockett became a Davy Crockett series, just for television. Yep. It is the kind of adventure that has nobody wa uh, wants to outgrown. It's great fun by the New York Herald Tribute. Mm -hmm. Originally, Davy Crockett came out in the early 80s. The, however, this copy of Davy Crockett, it is got to be 1984 reissue of one of the Neon Mickey tapes. This tape was printed it on March, thir March 30th, 1985. And it has no Walt Disney and You promo on it. This is an X rental. <coughs> Hold on. The next one we got a sequel, Davy Crockett and the River Pirates, 1956. After the original Davy Crockett was left off in 1955, co-stars with Jeff York. Yep, and they said this is a uh, well, whip slider of a motion picture, as Mike Flink might say. Walt Disney has ever has Walt Disney at his very best by Hollywood Reporter. Originally, Davy Crockett and the River Pirates came out back in the early 80s. And however, this is the 1985 reissue. This is printed it on July 29, 1985. And it has no Walt Disney and You promo on there.
The next one we have here, that is a heartwarming Disney film of, of O Yeller, starring with Tommy Curt and Dorothy McGuire. Fess Parker was also in it, and Kevin Coughlin, the one from other Disney films, a juvenile actor like from Toby Tyler and Shaggy Dog. Heart sperm of tender care, a, a picture to make 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 the heart charm of ten uh, tear tennis throw of uh, a personality approaching uh, of a love as a remarkable enchanting of a relationship between the boy and his dog by the uh, New York Daily News. And this is the 1985 reissue of O oh Yeller, and this has Walt Disney and You promo on there. Printed it on July, on November 19, 1985. Yeah. Original release of The Old Yeller came out in the early 80s. It has Disney trailers like Dobby O'Gill and the Little People in that copy. I don't even have that, but I used to but I used to rent it out once. Next one we have here is the 1981's Devil and Max Deviling. A, a Disney new comedy hit with Elliot Gould and Bill Cosby. Did you know... In the late 1970s and early 80s, the Disney distributor wanted to make certain dis certain films with the PG for the Disney films into a touchstone. Especially, they want to make Devil and Max Deviling into uh, into a touchstone film in 1981. But however, touchstone didn't didn't start until 1984, and it says the laugh is the Devil and Max Deviling in many and many of Gene uh, a Gen a gentle by the uh, the Chicago Tribute. I have another copy of this. The other copy I have is in 1983. This is the 1981 original. This is printed it on November 25th, 1981. Has no Walt Disney and You pre promo on there, but they got the preview for Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And even Old Yellow and uh, perhaps Dobby O'Gill and like the little people. The next one we have here in one of my new children's tapes, another Disney tape is Escape to Rich Mountain. Starring with Eddie Albert and the villain was played by Ray Milan and Donald Pleasant. Kim Richards and Irene Elserman, something like that. And you know Escape to Rich Mountain did, did a sequel in 1978, The Return of Rich, Return of Rich Mountain with Betty Davis. This is the early eight. This is 1981 original release of Escape to Rich Mountain. They, they made it in 94 minutes, but the original length was only 98 minutes. The only thing I found out in this movie, they cut out that scene when the uh, when Teeler and Teeler and Toby were playing like the marionettes using their ma using their super magic for that. When Ray Milan and Donald Pleasant were watching from their video cameras, that was the part that was cut out in this version. But in that, that was the version was on the Disney Channel or the 1990s reissue of the Walt Disney Studios collection. This copy has says um, for sales only, not included for rental. And this copy has no Walt Disney and you promo at all, not even no Disney trailers. Here's the last Disney tape we have here. Gone, gone are the day, days. A comedy that that's a criminal that has Harvey Corman in it, Susan Asprin and Robert Hogan. Yep, Harvey Corman did another Disney film like Herbie Goes Bananas in 1980. However, this is made for the Disney Channel in 1984. And I believe this is the late 1984 original release. One of the other Disney D Disney movies for the Disney Channel I have on VHS War, uh, The Love Leaves Away, that has like Timothy Bolton, Edie Marie Saint, Rob Bellamy, and Ernest Boldenau, the one I sold you from my previous updated video. Now here's one of the Family Home Entertainment uh, VHS tapes I have. It is... The White Seal, told by Rodney McDowell. Originally, The White Seal came out in the big fat box. This is the 1986 reissue of The White Seal. 
when they put that in Family Home Entertainment silver boxes. On this tape has the previews for Ricky Ticky Tabby, The Fairies, and Kronskin, something like that, like Strawberry Shortcake Angle. This tape was printed it on June 17, 1987. Family Home Entertainment uh, Silver Stick Label. Yep. This tape worked hard to find. I got it in the thrift store. I got it recently at my thrift store. Now I got here one of the two Mr. Magoo features. Like Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol was from 1962. This is the early, this is the, one of the last titles when Paramount Golf Western Company and Paramount Home Video release in one of those uh, gate folding boxes. That's the way they did it like that back in 1980, early 83. Hold on, as soon as I open up this. That's what the tape looks like. Mm -hmm. And this is printed it on the 46th week of 1982. Yep. God, I love Jim Backus. In the future, I'm going to show you my collections of my, uh, of my Mr. Magoo VHS tapes. Now we have here is Uncle Sam Magoo, who was made in 1970. This was the last cartoon ever made by UPA in 1970. Mm -hmm. This is the 83 release from Paramount. Yeah. I'll show you what the sticker label looks like. Yep, this is the this is the next rental tape. This is printed it on the twenty third week of nineteen eighty three. That was before they had like those uh, black uh, print the gray uh, print dates on it. They had like those blue print dates on those earlier Paramount tapes. Now we got Gay Paris, starring the voices of the talented Judy Garland. Also has voices of Robert Goulet, Red Buttons, Hobody Gingo, and Paul Fries. This is also made for UPA and Warner Brothers in 1962. Yep. Good old Judy. Too bad Disney couldn't do no Gay Paris. But one of us made it in 1962. This is printed it on on June 24th, 1991. I was only six years old at the time. That was when, at the time, when uh, when Goodfellas was coming to uh, make like the home video release. The next one we have here that's also from World Vision. That is. Jack and the Beanstalk that has the star and starring with Gene Kelly in this live action with animation in, it, in 1966. Ted Kennedy Casey was in it too. World Vision, and this is the 1984 reissue. Originally it came out in the slip cardboard in, uh, in 1982, one of the early World Vision titles. This got to be a 1985 reprint or something. Now we got Back to the Future, one of the greatest, uh, one of the greatest movies of 1985. That has with Michael J. Fox's Marty, and also they did like other Back to the Future films. Christopher Lloyd was just a professor. Lee Thompson, yep. Robert Zemeckis and Steven Spielberg directed this. This is an early 1986 original release. A movie for all ages by Gene Selleck by the Today Show NBC TV. A wonderful fantasy by the delightful comedy by Kathleen Carroll by the New York Daily News. However, this tape is not original. This is uh, considered to be a little reprint. Yep. Stick a label from 86. Mm -hmm. Printed it on April 27, 1988. And it's printed it on the 20th week of 1988. Two final family films. So now we're... And then we have to close this part as in this in this video. 
Next one we got here is Rob Reiner's film of The Princess Bride. An instant, an instant classic, a good time movie of the year by Peter Travers by People Magazine. It has like Andre the Giant, Peter Falk was in it, Wallace Shawn, Christopher Guest, yep. This is a wonderful film that you don't want to miss it for the whole entire family. Billy Crystal and Carol Kane was in it, mm-hmm. At the on this tape it has the opening has a trailer for just for glory. And also has like Hershey commercial and comedy relief promo at the end of this tape. X rental, mm-hmm. And finally, before we close this first part of this updated video. We got here's the 1930, 1949's uh, the, the Little Women. The original Little Women was in 1933. That has Catherine Hepburn. I don't have that on VHS. The stars with uh, June Allison, Peter Lawford, Margaret O'Brien to meet me in St. Louis, Elizabeth Taylor, Janet Lynn, Mary Astor. Yeah. The P, the perfect movie by like, by like Look Magazine. This is released on VHS in 1988. I had to get this. Here's what the sticker label looks like. Mm -hmm. No print date on it. So that includes of my. Uh, that includes the first part of my. Of the of this updated video for. For March 7th, 2021, showing you like my family titles that I have on VHS. Well see you for the we'll see you for the second part in in a in a little while and I'll see you later. Bye.